listen up, because what I'm about to show you is so stupidly effective that 99% of bug bounty hunters are literally leaving thousands of dollars on the table every single month. And the crazy part is, this technique is completely legal, but it feels so unfair that you'll feel like you're cheating the system. The people making six figures from critical vulnerabilities all know this shortcut, but they keep it quiet, because the moment everyone figures this out, the competition gets brutal and payouts drop. So if you're watching this, consider yourself part of an exclusive club that actually understands how money works in bug bounties. Here's the problem. Every beginner makes. You pick a target, you fire up Burp Suite, you run subdomain enumeration with subfinder and a mass, you spend three weeks doing reconnaissance testing every endpoint, and at the end, you find absolutely nothing. Or worse, you find a low severity XSS that pays $200, which sounds great until you realize you just invested 60 hours for $3 an hour. Congratulations, you just worked a low minimum wage. The reason this happens is because you're doing what everyone else is doing. And in bug bounties, if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're guaranteed to waste time because those vulnerabilities got found six months ago. So here's the shortcut that changes everything. And I'm dead serious when I say this will probably double your bug bounty income within 30 days. Stop wasting time on reconnaissance and focus exclusively on newly launched programs and newly acquired assets. When a company launches a new bug bounty program or acquires another company, there's a golden window of two to four weeks where the target is absolutely loaded with vulnerabilities that haven't been found yet because nobody's had time to test it. During this window, the competition is lower, the vulnerabilities are everywhere, and the company is motivated to pay out quickly because they want to build a good reputation with security researchers. Let me show you exactly how to exploit this you need to set up monitoring for three things. First, new programs launching on HackerOne, BugCrowd, and Integrity, which you can automate using their APIs. Second, companies announcing acquisitions on tech news sites, because those acquired assets always get added to bug bounty scopes. And third, new subdomains appearing on existing programs using tools like Sublert or certificate transparency logs. The moment you see a new opportunity, you need to move fast within hours, not days, because other hunters who know this shortcut are doing the same thing. Now, here's where it gets interesting, and this is the part that actually makes you money. When you find a vulnerability in a newly launched program, the company isn't damage control mode. They're worried about their security posture and what else might be lurking that they don't know about. This is where understanding the business side becomes worth literally tens of thousands of dollars. And I see this constantly in Cyberflow Academy, where students who understand this principle are closing consulting deals and getting recurring revenue. Here's what you do after you submit your vulnerability report and they confirm it's valid. You don't just walk away like an amateur. Instead, you immediately follow up with a professional email offering to do a comprehensive security assessment for a fixed fee. You position this as helping them get ahead of other researchers who will inevitably find more issues, and you emphasize that you already understand their infrastructure from finding the first vulnerability. Most companies say yes, especially if your initial report was well written, and suddenly you've turned a $500 bug bounty into a $5,000 consulting contract. But wait, there's more. After you complete that initial consulting engagement, you stay in touch with the security team. You offer to be their go-to researcher for any new acquisitions or product launches. You build a relationship where they reach out to you before adding new assets to their public program, giving you exclusive first access. This is how top bug bounty hunters are actually making money. They're not grinding public programs competing with 10,000 other researchers. They've got relationships with security teams who pay them directly for priority access. And the entire foundation started with targeting new programs when they first launched. Now, I can already hear some of you thinking, this sounds great, but I don't have the skills to do comprehensive security assessments or write professional consulting proposals. And that's exactly why Cyberflow Academy exists. We don't just teach you how to find vulnerabilities. We teach you the entire business model of turning bug bounty hunting into actual sustainable income. Our members aren't just finding bugs. They're cashing out big. Just last month, one of our guys pulled $12,000 from a single critical he found using advanced techniques we teach in the academy. We're talking about people who invested a less than $30 and made it back 20 becks over in their first quarter. Because here's what nobody tells you. The technical skills are just the entry fee. The real money comes from knowing which programs pay fast, how to write reports that get maximum payouts, building relationships with security teams, and scaling your workflow so you're not trading time for money anymore. We teach you the business side that everyone else ignores. And since you made it this far, I'm hooking you up with 50% off using code CYBER50. First link in the description. <laughs>